Hi, I'm Marco, our washers at washmart.com, your Houston pressure washer store. We're here to talk about the RKA 55G30. Uh, this is the AR pump that runs 3,000 at five and a half. And I'm not gonna talk about the pump itself, but something that you can do to troubleshoot these and every other pump. So what we have found is pump manufacturers are having issues with putting too much Loctite in Italy on the threading. And what's happening is the check valves from the manufacturer are locked in place and require us to break the tension or else you're going to have issues with them. So we use a 24 millimeter with an impact. Okay. So we're going to pull these check valves out. Now, probably 50% of these have had issues. This one right now, I'm putting, now it's going. I had to put tension on it to get the spring to go down because it had some residual Loctite from the manufacturer. You have to make sure that these move freely. Well, this one's really stuck. So it's this piece right here. I'm assuming it's, either stainless or aluminum. I'm actually not sure what material it's made out of, but what I use, I use a blunt section, not a pointy section, but I use a blunt section. You could also use um, you know, pliers, needle nose pliers work well. But what I do is I just push down in the middle until it moves freely. Now the check valve moves freely, and then you insert it back in with this going that way. You always want the plastic portion to be facing towards the outside. I'm going to check the last one. We're going to see if this one has an issue. Nope, this one actually moves freely. This one would have still had problems because two out of the three check valves were stuck. Now we put this back on. I never put these back on immediately with the impact. I'm going to hand tighten them first. Okay. this pump's going to be good to go. And the reason why we do this is we'll sell someone a pump and whenever we send them the pump, it has this issue. And instead of me trying to spend 30 minutes on the phone trying to fix, resolve this issue, I'm going to send you this video. And this is also good if you bought a pump from someone else or if you bought a brand new machine from someone else and it was never tested, this can be a problem. And sometimes people will overdiagnose the machine and think there's a bunch of issues whenever it's just the check valves. All right, that'll conclude the video. If you have any other questions, send us an email at rwashers at washmart.com. Uh, overall, these pumps have been great, but with the supply chain changing so frequently in the last couple of years, the products are also changing. So this is just something to note whenever you're buying a new pump, if it's not working properly, this is something that you can check in literally three minutes and keep you from having a whole lot of headache. This is Marco, rwashers at washmart.com. Your Houston Pressure Washer store, thank you for watching.